Hi, this is George, and there's my sweet little dog, Buddy, with a muzzle looking today because we're here at the park where he sometimes eats something. Um, he's practicing self-control, I guess, by force. <laughs> um, so I want to talk with you for a few minutes about self-control. I've had a breakthrough recently in my own self-control that I want to share with you and perhaps it will help you as well. Um, the, the, the mantra, the idea, the thing to say when I'm, going, when I'm tempted to do something that I know is not good for me long term is to say, I'm going to be fine even if I don't do that. Or even if I don't do fill in the blank, I'm going to be fine. Okay? And so bring, bring to mind something that you're either addicted to or could be addicted to that you know is not good for you long term, whether it's um, eating junk food or a particular type of junk food that you have in your house um, or whether it's uh, playing video games too much or maybe for some people it's pornography um, and lust. For some people it's uh, surfing Facebook too much, surfing the web too much when they, they know that it would be better for them to be, to be working on their business. Um, maybe it's, it's telling someone off in the moment uh, even if it's through email. Right? So bring to, some, bring to mind something that you know is not good for you long term. It's not good perhaps for the planet, for the world long term. Uh, that if you could just keep yourself from doing it for the moment, you know. So this is the thing. Rem and remember that you are going to feel fine after a little while of not doing this thing that you know you, you want to stop doing. You're going to feel fine. So you have to tell yourself that. You have to rem actually remind yourself of that. That's what I do. I say, oh, if even if I don't do this, I'm going to feel fine after a while. Okay. And the second thing that was really helpful for me is that sometimes I will go and do one of these things I've named. I've, everything I've named, I've done more than I would like to have done, okay? So, and some of these things, thankfully, I've been off it for a while. But, um, you know, what, what, sometimes I, I do something, like eat a bad snack or something like that, because I justify it to myself that, oh, I want to be in optimal condition when I'm working on this project that I'm going to work on right now. Uh, and if I don't eat this sugary thing, that I'm not going to feel um, good. And if I don't feel good, I can't work on this thing. Okay, so that's a justification. Uh, and I have to remind myself that, oh, um, it's more important for me to practice self-control and not eat this thing that I know is bad for me long term. It's, it's, it's better to, to do that than to, and it's fine to not to feel bad for a little while. So let me say this again. What I say to myself is I would rather work unoptimally to feel unoptimally, to feel not at my best, than to do this thing that I'm trying to stop doing. Does that make sense? So I would rather stop doing that thing and, and feel some withdrawal, feel not good for a little while. That's more important, that's better for me than it is to continue down the path I know is not, is not good for me and, and regret it long term. So I hope that this is helpful. The key I wanna to suggest to you is to um, do a little bit at a time. Practice uh, this kind of self-control a little bit at a time. Maybe just do one a day for now. And then as you go forward, you can do two a day, two, two of these experiences a day, and then three, and then et cetera. But take it gradually, okay? Take it gradually. Uh, there's another video I've done related to this called the, the, the Practice of Discomfort, which I encourage you to watch as well. But see if these techniques help you, and I would love to know. So until the next video, I wish you a clarity and grounded centeredness, a connection to your higher self, and I wish you well. Take care.